So essentially there are two major trafficking pathways in the cell. One is the, for the secretion of proteins and the other is for the internalization of proteins. And those two major pathways just intersect at an organelle that is called endosomes. At, at this organelle, the decisions need to be taken. Either those proteins are degraded or those proteins are recycled to different specialized compartments or to the plasma membrane for further rounds of utilization. So we are trying to understand how those proteins are selected within these endosomal compartments and recycled back to the plasma membrane or back to other specialized organelles. So essentially we are working in a protein complex uh, that works at the endosomal compartments and this protein complex is called retromer that can be combined with different other regulatory proteins and essentially what it does is just select different uh, uh, transmembrane proteins to recycle them to different specialized intracellular compartments. Knowing how the intracellular vesicle trafficking happens then we may be able to build devices to deliver uh, compounds inside the cell to a specific intracellular locations. In 10 years, maybe we can have a much larger picture of how retromer works. Uh, maybe we can understand uh, the conflict mechanism, how cargo is selected. So in that way, maybe we can start thinking on designing uh, molecules to manipulate that traffic and to deliver compounds uh, to different cellular locations in the cell. Also, it has been shown that reduced levels of retromer has been associated with uh, the production of uh, beta amyloid beta, which is a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So, if we stabilize retromer, uh, maybe we can reduce the production of beta amyloid uh, beta. So, the design of better compounds to interact and stabilize retromer may be also be an alternative to fight against Alzheimer's disease. Of course, that's uh, an option of uh, many other uh, possibilities.